and this is my book about 90s garage punk bands. Bonjour, c'est Eric Davidson, il va parler de son livre de punk rock Uh, band. Garage punk bands, underground garage punk. Oui, the, the souterrain, the, the garage punk underground. <laughs> He's French Canadian, you have to, you know. Um, <laughs> I kid because I love, and that's. All right, so I. Um, look at this. Look at this guy's filming. Okay, anyway. Um, uh, so, I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm guessing that most of you have never been to Cleveland, Ohio, um, but you should go. It's an exciting, interesting place, and that's where I grew up and got into really obscure American punk rock. Then I moved to Columbus, Ohio to go to school, and I met the rest of the band. Hello, he came to Cleveland, Ohio, in the state of Ohio, in the United States, and it's... Après ça, il a déménagé à Columbus pour aller à l'université. Il a rencontré tout, euh, tout son groupe là, à Columbus, qui est aussi à Ohio. Ohio c'est ça. Et euh, c'est à Cleveland qui a commencé la musique, mais c'est à Columbus qui a rencontré les musiciens. All right, Gio, Gio mentioned this. Um, Gilles Benel is right here. He's not only a great man and a great Frenchman, but really funny. Gilles, c'est un grand homme. <laughs> un, un, un grand français, mais aussi euh, oui, un, 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 un grand français, un Frenchman, oui. Yes, he's a grand Frenchman. <laughs> he's fat as hell. Look at him. <laughs> well, it's because we've been eating and drinking really well every night for the last week, and then sitting in a car for an hour after that. Um, Gio mentioned maybe I should read this little part, so I'm going to read this to you, and I don't really think it'll need translation, but let's see. Um, this is my town, Cleveland, Ohio, a little bit of history about Cleveland. And then we'll get to some videos of bands in my book, crazy rare videos from bands in my book, in just a moment. Um, so, là, là, c'est... Là, là, il va, il va parler de, de son, son, sa, sa ville, de, de Cleveland. Puis après, il va monter des vidéos. Cool. Let's watch the videos. Thank you very much, and thank you, Damien. Merci beaucoup. Yes, merci. And again, thanks to Gilles Benel for hanging out for the whole tour. Oh, talk a little more. Oh, my God, I don't think I've ever had anybody say that to me. Talk more, Eric. Um, okay. Alors, il dit, les amis de Steve qui ne pouvaient pas être là, ils ont, ils ont envoyé des, des, des messages vidéo euh, comme euh, Iggy Pop qui pleurait sur la vidéo. Et était, John Waters. John Waters. John director. Waters. A director of very many funny movies. Okay, so the next video comes up and Steve's lovely old Polish parents are standing there and they show a video from Lydia Lunch. Lydia Lunch, if any of you have heard of her, Uh, is sort of an infamous New York underground filmmaker, rocker, weirdo, sex deviant. Alors, euh, tout à coup, il y a la vidéo de, de, de Lydia Lunch, puis, euh, qui est présentée devant les parents, les gentils parents de, de Steve. So, puis, so she says, you know, and again, everyone's quiet, very sad, it's awake, you know. Stiv's lovely parents standing there, and she goes, You know, man, Stiv was great. First time I ever met Stiv, it's like I was in this cab in the Lower East Side and pulled up, and Stiv just jumped in, and he was funny and everything. I gave him a blowjob. It was great. <laughs> okay, uh, alors là, <laughs> alors sur la vidéo, <laughs> Linda Lunch est euh, devant les parents de, de, de Steve, elle, elle dit, oh, la première fois que j'ai rencontré Steve, c'était très sympathique, il était, il était drôle et tout, on a embarqué dans, le, dans un taxi. Alors, il était drôle, alors je lui je ai fait, euh, ai, ai fait une pipe, oui. <laughs> He was trying to remember how to say blowjob in French. Pick up, we never learn, it's uh, a lot of fun stuff, except it's mostly about bands. Um, oh, I know. Um, Oh, there's too many stories to tell. Um, yeah, there's, it's a lot of just crazy stories, how bands were um, 
Really, they were not huge, famous alternative rock bands, nor were, although they were friends with many of them, uh, nor were they like shitty local do-nothing bands. They were bands that really worked hard and traveled and put out records, and I think became slowly influential on a lot of new bands like... Say all that in Alors, this is the story about the... Not just the, the group, uh, the, the, the group very popular, but also the group uh, underground, more known, but who, selon lui, have influenced the, the group. Uh, yeah, I think they became influence, a big influence on a lot of bands today, like the Black Lips, King Kong Barbecue, J. Retard, Times New Viking, um, and a lot of sort of the White Stripes and the Hives kind of came out of this scene. And so I, I just felt like the story should be told, and it, it was a lot of fun making it. So thanks again for coming out. Let's get to the video. Alors, il dit, il vous remercie et il dit, écoutons le vidéo. And I'll explain the video too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> thanks again to Damien for doing this. You won't really need translation for this. This first band is the Cynics from Pittsburgh. The Cynics from Pittsburgh. <laughs> 